First into the Shark Tank is Jonathan Booz with an innovative product line for the well-dressed man. Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Booz and I'm the owner of the men's brand Work and Stiffs as well as the inventor of Power Stays, the world's only magnetic collar stays. I'm seeking $85,000 for 10% equity in my company. Now, this all started back when I was actually running late for some dinner reservations. My wife was yelling as she threw a brand new shirt at me to put on. And I seen that I had a, a big problem. I looked like John Travolta from Saturday Night Fever. The collar was all large and in charge and I couldn't control this thing. So I found some ordinary paper clips and I found some magnets and I made the very first magnetic collar stay. I haven't worn a shirt the same since. So first you take our power stay and you place it on the underside of the collar. There's a collar stay pocket. Flip your collar down and we have a super strong small magnet. And this goes on the inside of the shirt and instantly changed my shirt into a hidden button down collar. So wherever you put your collar is where your collar stays. There's nothing else like this in the menswear industry. These are spectacular. Thank you. We knew we had something pretty special when we acquired three high-end men's specialty stores. Well, what retailers you sell them at? Nordstrom contacted us. We did a test of our power stays, which launched in 24 stores. Within three months, we went to 77 stores. We had sold over 18,000 units. We made them over $600,000 retail. We're currently in all 115 Nordstrom stores. Jonathan, you're the real deal. Oh yeah, I, I am the real deal. I design and produce all this stuff myself. The packaging, the displays, the product, it's all me. Jonathan, what are your sales today in all the products? Year to date today, I'm, I'm at a half million. I'm expecting 1.8 next year. 1.8, wow. What are you gonna do with the 85,000? Damon, out of anybody here, you should know. What can I do with $85,000? I mean, really take this brand to the next level. I need to get someone that knows what the hell they're doing to get me there so I can continue to create. I've got products on the drawing board. I've got products right now still in development. Jonathan, let me tell you something. I love your passion. I love your knowledge. I love your approach. I'm waiting for the butt. Yeah, there's a butt coming. I'm not the guy with the connections. I'm not the guy who adds value. I'm just not the guy to help you. I'm out. Johnson, I just, I really can't do anything for your okay. business, so I'm out. The guy that's staying the most quiet is the one that can help me the most, but he's staying quiet. I'll make an offer. I'll give you $100,000 for 30% of the business, but I want a royalty on that money. I want a 14% royalty. So it's like a loan? No, I'm getting a ton of equity too. I want 30% of the company. It's a loan, right? No, it's not a loan. Robert's giving me the eye, that's a loan. <laughs> well, you're paying 14% off the top. You know, I, mean, I love Robert. I, I love to Robert give, too. Robert gives you the eye, but he doesn't have any money. That's the problem. In the end, you need cash, my friend. I'm making you an offer. Never disrespect the cash. Don't like that deal. You know why I like that deal? Because I know you're gonna need more cash. You're gonna be calling me every 90 days for a quarter of a million dollars. And if things are going well, I'll keep doing it. But not, not, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, exactly. All right, you have an offer? No, that's on the table, great. Anyone else? Why don't you like his offer? I need more than money. I need someone that can help me. Damon, you, you sold hats, one product, right? And then you created this empire of a brand. Oh. So you're looking at me like I can't make this into a successful brand. That's what I don't get. I don't know where you're coming from. I didn't from. say you can't make it into a successful brand. I, people who are successful and have thoughts of high value and people who are not have thoughts of low value. So you're valuing yourself high. How am I valuing myself high? 85,000? You 000. should be. But if you're going to argue with me, then okay. I don't want a partner right. who's going to argue not, with I'm, me. So damn, just, I don't, you out of anybody because should understand that, what I'm doing. I mean, I don't, I don't get it. I was actually going to throw an offer on the table. Now he's gonna say because I was arguing. You see his hand right there? I still am not done talking, I'm out.
I, I know it. Jonathan, you've absolutely pissed him off. To clarify, what I was trying to tell you was the reason that you will be wealthy is because you have thoughts of high value. I was trying to give you a compliment. Okay. When I was trying to talk, I could not speak to you. You took forever. I'm, I'm waiting for forever. Oh! I know. Boom goes the dynamite. I'm sorry. And I'm oh. sorry, and I will never take forever again because I was going to give you an offer, and you botched the offer. Oh, what a baby. You My want me to get God. on the phone with him every day? I want you Hey, to can I talk to you? I'll put in the contract, I'll never call you again. How's that sound? <laughs> I cannot stand partners that I can't even speak to. If he would have shut up, he would have had an offer. I'm going to apologize for real. I apologize. I didn't mean to come off that way. If I've offended you in any way, you did not I would do nothing You different. did not offend me. I'm not offended. My feelings aren't hurt. I'm just, I think you're missing out on a great opportunity. Come on, Damien. You're such a baby. Cut it out. Listen, Barb, I have pet peeves you do. This is a pet peeve. Get over it. Well, you really hurt his feelings, Jonathan. Let me talk to Robert, my last chance, and then, and then sit there and just think about it. I'm a nice guy. I'll stop talking. Okay. Jonathan, it's not the first time you've heard that, is it? No? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be here if I took no for an answer. Next. I'm actually upset, you know why? Because I like it. Well, and I like, um, whatever. See? I mean, whatever. No, I would talk to you, but you- You know what I think we should do with the company? Whatever. No, no, not whatever. Damon, I'm here to, all right. Damon, he's nervous. He's a high energy guy. Why don't you cut him a little slack? Oh, why don't you cut him a check? This is all wonderful. Let's hold hands and say kumbaya. Jonathan, do you want my $100,000 or not? Jonathan, I'll make you an offer. I'll give you the 100,000 for 30%, no royalty. Would you go 200,000 for 30%? Wait a second. I'll drop my equity ass down, 100,000 for 20%, but I want the royalty to stay in place. That's different than what he wants. He's a savage. She's asking for a third of your business. You're a vulture, I, but, but because I mean, my, I should be getting the royalty here. I mean, I'm the one that's creating this stuff. Jonathan, I'll give you 100,000 for 25%. Uh, that's my final offer. One more thing. I'm gonna go back in. Barbara. What are you doing? I'm gonna give you $100,000 for 20%, provided Damon forgives you and I'll be your front man, Dame. You never have to talk to this guy. You just enjoy his success. And you know I'm a great front man. That's not enough. Oh, Damon. That's not enough percentage on what, the company. So what is it? You want to match his at 25 percent? Can't take less than 40. Oh, oh, oh come on! Wow. Jonathan, come back to daddy. Come back to daddy. I'm putting a difference of only 15% due to my knowledge. That's all. That's the difference. OK, I'll drop my equity ass down to 15%. But the royalty stays in place. Would, would Damon and Barbara be willing to do 30%, the $100,000 for 30% equity? Absolutely not. The offer is a hard offer. Jonathan, Jonathan, you have to make a decision now. Yes, I would like to do a deal with Barbara and Damon. Great. All right, thank, All right, thank you. you. Oh, that's a happy <laughs> ending. <laughs> You know what? I deal with creative guys like designers. You will never get a word in, and you'll never get anything done. You were spanking him like a baby seal. <laughs> I almost blew the deal with Damon because of my big mouth. Barbara, love you. Thank you for getting that hook out and getting Damon back into the game. Appreciate it. Dive into the Shark Tank YouTube channel and subscribe now.